hi and welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to demonstrate to you the difference between direct query and import method in power bi you, know, you often see that two different uh, method of importing data but what is the practical difference how can you demonstrate or show this difference i'm going to walk you through a practical example connected to microsoft sql server so we're going to be able to evaluate how is direct query different from import query i know you're ready so let's jump back on the system and get this done but before that don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up so that you can always get notified when i release new videos like this all right let's get to the system and get it done we are back to my system and right here i have microsoft power bi what we're going to be making use of some other you know services for example i have SQL Server Management Studio here, and I have a couple of databases, but I'll be using the practice database which I created myself, and I also have some tables there that I use for learning purposes. We'll be using the sales order table. Also, I have a Microsoft form that I've created that anytime I fill this form, there's a Power Automate flow that will always write the information from this form to this backend on this sales order table. On this says order table so we want to connect to this says order table from power bi and we're going to be using two different forms of connection first we're going to use the direct method i'm going to use uh, the direct query and we'll use import method all right if you look at this very well from the id we have 11 id here 11 records okay great back to power bi how do we connect to this i'm going to navigate to this place you can see sql server this is for microsoft sql server um, SQL Server. In case you want to see the whole list, you can click on Get Data and see and click on More. I'm just going to click on SQL Server. It will request for server details. I'm going to put um, this is server details. I can right click here and say Properties, and I will see the server details right here. So this is the server name. In case um, you have something else, and in your organization, it could be the name of the server you know that you have the ip address sometimes so i'm going to paste that here database is optional and you can see these two methods one is import i'm going to leave it as import and click on ok import we import the data into my model import method we import the data into power bi model so meaning you have it at the back in that same power bi file it can meaning the file will be more larger bigger because you have imported the data in the cell even though it will be fast because the data is within that environment and you are querying uh, the views and the KPIs and the chart are querying against something that already exists within that environment. So practice is a database of interest and a table it says order. So I'm going to load. It's connecting to the model and uh, more or less loading it and right here is done. At the right hand side there I can see all the columns are here. And I'm just going to drag anything. I can say, uh, let me drag ID here. So it's going to do a count of ID. This is ID. I'm going to change it to card. And you can see, so ID is here and it is 11. All right, 11. All right, 11 records. That's what it means. So I'm going to also come back here. And this is SQL Server. I'm going to click it again. Connect again to the same time but this time i'm going to use direct query method then click ok practice go to practice click on cargo you know yeah i'm sorry click on says order then click load so that says order two that is this guy so i'm going to label this direct query i'm going to rename it to direct query And rename this to import method. All right. So this guy is connected to import method. I can just have a text. It's going to be a label right here. Uh, come to general. Click on this title and call it. This guy is import method. So that we can see the differences. I'm going to increase the size to like 18 and make it centralized. Okay, this is fine for me. I don't really need to design anything here, uh, but I can't do without it. So, okay, so for import method, we have 11. 
and let's do for direct query so i'm going to come right here for direct query id i'm going to drop id as well this is id also turned it to card all right same thing i've done here i have to do it for this guy go here general put on the title adding for us make it like 18 or 19 centralize the background here i can give this black and uh, the test should be white then say direct query direct query method all right so this is direct query method i'm fine and let me place them beside each other i also like applying shadow to my beyond effects just to make them a bit visually appealing all right Okay, so I have this two right now. I'm going to just save. I'm going to save it. I can just call it um, direct query versus import method. All right, so I have saved this right now. You can see both of them. And in the database, I have 11 files. Don't forget in my database, I have 11 records. And the reason why you'll be able to see real time changes is because I've installed on-premise data gateway. I use that in Power Automate. If you follow me on my YouTube channel, I'm going to shortly, you know, this course of this week, drop the video on how to connect details from your form or for server back, uh, front end to your database. Right, let's go ahead here and create two new responses. You know, I'm going to fill this form and drop new responses. will be dropped in the database if i go to database and run this query again let's just run and watch i still have 11 records maybe the flow has not been triggered wait a few more seconds let us try right now it should be there i'm gonna execute awesome this we have 12 records this additional guy that came in now 12 online while you charge this is the details so we have 12 records here let me fill the form again and at this point i can even close this power bi go back again um save yep save changes come here and fill the response again back to the database i'm going to wait a few more seconds as well so that the trigger can pick that form responses then all the other steps and action can take place and i can have it here few seconds here means maybe something like 10 or 15 seconds so i just need to try again now execute this query awesome so we have it 13 this is the other record now jane john so we have two additional records now making 13 instead of 11 so let us go back and open up our bi and see what will happen remember we have two kpis one is direct query the other is import method so i'm going to click on it i have it right here i'm going to click select the data direct query versus import method awesome do you notice the direct query has updated to 13 because every time you put up a power bi it will run this query against the database is what is in the database that is running against so it's 13 records there the import method is 11 because as at the time it was brought in it was 11. so for me to have this update on this import method i have to refresh the moment i refresh then the query that has imported the data will refresh against the data source and try to pull in the new record and that way you, you you're going to see that it has changed to 13. so this is one practical way to demonstrate the difference between direct query and import method all right and of course there are other advantages to consider if you work with huge amount of data you will realize that um both of them we now have to start looking for other reasons to say which method should i use if data is huge and you are not using a premium capacity the maximum file size for power bi data file is one gig so obviously the moment the data is just that you can't even use that again um so you have to use direct query and sometimes depending on the kind of measures and kpis you have in your report you might want to prefer to run them against a you know against something that's already there so that it will be faster if it's complex it can really take longer time okay so i look forward to creating more content like this that truly demonstrate practical differences and help your knowledge in data analysis using power bi don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this youtube channel all right and bye for now